Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we've been discussing different concepts in social information networks for the last five videos. Today is the sixth video in this series and we are going to discuss a very important topic of social information networks. So we've discussed what centrality measures are, right? So centrality measures are, me are different measures that help us calculate or understand the importance of each node in a graph network. So now we, we've already discussed degree centrality. That is how popular a node is. That is how many uh, connections does a node have? That is what degree centrality was. Today we'll discuss another centrality measure, which is known as closeness centrality. Okay. So basically closeness centrality, it is, it measures the mean distance from one vertex to another or from one node to another. It measures the average or mean distance from one node to other. So for each node, we will, whichever has the least amount of average distance, that means that it is it can access any node very easily right so if the overall average of of uh, closeness centrality of one node is the least that means that it is closer to oh it is on an overall basis it is close to most of the nodes in our network so that is another way in which you can see popularity right how easily you can reach out to more number of people that is another way you can see the popularity of the node so that is basically what closeness centrality is. Now, now let us take an example and try to solve for the closeness centrality of the different nodes in the graph. Okay. So let's say, so let's say we have six nodes here. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And let's say these are the connections that we have. And we have two more edges here. And now let us say we want to find out the closeness centrality for each of these nodes. So what we do is first we uh, make a table or a matrix. Okay, so agent wise matrix or node wise matrix node one or let me just write one to make it simple okay one two three four five and six One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So when this is, this is the blank table or an empty table. And let's put these dashes out here for the same uh, node. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to find out the distance or the shortest distance between uh, two nodes. So between one and two, what is the shortest distance? The shortest distance is one edge. We have only one edge, direct edge between one and two, right? So the shortest distance would be one. Between one and three also, it would be one. Between one and four, it is either one to five and five to four, that makes it two. Or we have one to two, two to five and five to four, that makes it three. The shorter one is two, so we choose two here. Similarly, one to five is one. 1 to 6 is again 2. You have 1, 3, 5, 6, which makes it 3. Or 1, 5, 6, which makes it 2. Or again, 1, 2, 5, 6, which makes it 3. So the shortest one uh, is again distance of two edges. Right. Now, similarly, we fill in the entire table. 2, 1 is 1. 2, 3 is 2. 2, 5 is what? 1. 2, 4 is 2. 2, 5 is 1, 2, 6 is 2. 
right similarly we fill in the entire table now the next step would be to to normalize this that is to actually find out the average so you divide it by n minus 1 nodes okay so what is n minus 1 here n is the total number of nodes n is 5 right n is 6 right so n minus 1 is 5 now we need to take the inverse to actually find out because the average distance whichever has the least average distance uh, basically will be the most popular right so instead of that we need a measure which says ki uh, whichever that measure should be highest in order to be in order for the node to be the most popular that is how measures work right so that is the reason closeness centrality is the measure which is the inverse of the average so now for so it is basically closeness centrality is equal to n minus 1 divided by sum of shortest distances okay so here what will you write 5 divided by 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 1 7 5 divided by 7 okay then again 5 divided by 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 1 8 similarly you can finish the entire table and whichever you get the highest value out of closeness centrality that will be the most popular node in the given graph okay or the graph with the highest amount of closeness centrality so basically this is what closeness centrality was about and this is all i had for this video thank you guys for watching do like share and subscribe if you found this video helpful or you learned something from this video okay so yeah that's all and thank you for watching